Hello everyone. So today I bought this uh, desktop and uh, this desktop is uh, HP ProDesk G2600. Now I'm using desktop. I'm actually going back to desktop after many years. Of course I had a desktop long back but uh, for the past I believe 15-ish years laptop has been my uh, primary computer but uh, uh, I thought maybe I should uh, get back to, uh, to, to, to to desktops so that I can uh, play with the hardware and uh, I don't really want to spend too much money so I bought this uh, used uh, HP, Pro Desk, HP Pro Desk G2600 so this was basically on eBay but uh, the seller was actually uh, not far from my place only like 15 minutes walk so I thought I'll probably go to his office and uh, get it myself so this is actually uh, a very nice machine i think so and uh, i'm of course uh, going to upgrade it but just to give you an idea it has uh, i5 sixth generation and it comes with uh, 4 gb along with 500 gb normal hard disk not really ssd and uh, i will of course be using ssd i'll, I'll probably get one ssd and uh, I will also increase the RAM and I will also try to maybe uh, use a low profile uh, GPU. I don't really do gaming but uh, maybe I can, maybe I'll probably uh, stream because right now of course I have my ThinkPad X220 although I can stream with it and I use uh, FFmpeg. It is of course not really um, great when it comes to doing streaming or uh, forget about playing games to be honest um, i mean i, I do uh, play retro games sometimes on my second thinkpad x220 where i have installed i believe retro arch retro something basically there so there is one emulator but of course it is not really uh, great for uh, doing any gaming even uh, old games but with this uh, with this desktop i'll probably maybe try or get back to gaming but uh, most importantly I will be using this uh, desktop as my home server because uh, I was looking for uh, a machine that I can probably uh, uh, keep on all the time I'll probably not use it as uh, a proper NAS but maybe you know I'll have like I'll probably install a couple of hard disks uh, and uh, I'll try to use it as like a home server I'll probably you know do some experimentation let us see how it goes and because this was a very good deal I, I, I spent only 70 pounds so of course I bargained I think the, the, the listing was 100 and something pounds then uh, I paid only 70 which is always great and I think uh, when you are trying to get uh, a used machine uh, I think uh, the local deals are always great. I mean, if you try to pay online on eBay, eBay is also fine, but uh, when you can get something locally, I think that is where you should uh, 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 try to get some deals. So let us open this box and uh, uh, talking about uh, the uh, form factor it has, uh, uh, this, uh, this is a uh, small form, form factor. So not really a lot of space, but I think for my needs, it should be enough. On the front, I can see four USB ports, uh, and uh, of course, you know there is a DVD uh, writer, which of course I'll not be using because you know who uses DVD these days. Uh, let us take a look at the back side. So on the back side, uh, uh, not much. So one, two, three, four, five, six USB ports, one uh, Ethernet port, VGA, uh, and serial port. Really? serial port <laughs> okay and uh, of course you know display ports and uh, these uh, old uh, ps1 I, I, I actually forgot the name of these uh, you know old very old uh, connectors uh, I remember I mean I still have those uh, old uh, keyboards TV TVS5 keyboard and uh, the old mouse uh, with the ball and uh, it is good to see uh, these ports okay so to open this it's a uh, it's a very simple and convenient way to open this so you just need to pull this and uh, that is it will come come out very easily and I like the uh, the I like the uh, the uh, the cover it is uh, 
simple. I mean, there is no screw. Although there is a screw, but oh, I, I, it's not really for screw. I think it's for the lock. I remember these locks <laughs> when when you go to. I mean, I, I have worked with corporates, and uh, usually in corporates, uh, they want to lock <laughs> the the uh, cabinet. So, talking about uh, this uh, this uh, computer from inside. Uh, so this is the hard disk and uh, of course you know the DVD drive and I can see here that it has uh, four RAM slots and I believe I was doing some re research online I believe uh, this motherboard can support definitely 32 GB but maybe 64 GB I'm not really sure I mean uh, not really sure but uh, this is uh, DDR4 uh, uh, RAM 2133 yeah, I can see it. It says uh, DDR4 GB DDR4 2133. So it's a crucial RAM, and uh, I'll definitely uh, try to get a deal on uh, RAM. I'll probably upgrade the RAM. Definitely upgrade the RAM. Now talking about uh, this particular part. So if you have to, uh, let us say, install one extra hard disk, it is very simple. And by the way, just to show you, if you have to, I mean, first of all. If you have to do anything with the you know hard disk, uh, this particular thing will, uh, or it can actually be pulled out. So if you if you do this, you know, be gentle with it. I mean, when you're doing something with the computers internally, uh, although I don't really uh, do any more any custom builds, but uh, uh, whenever I'm handling my my electronics, I'm always careful. So uh, if you look here, you will get. Uh, this uh, connector so if you have to install uh, extra hard disk you will find uh, one uh, i think there is one power uh, how many pins i think it should fit uh, there is also one more here i guess and uh, for the data i guess uh, you can uh, use one sata connector but uh, what i'll do i will use this uh, i'll of course i'll not be using the dvd drive so i'll probably use the uh, connector from the dvd and I guess uh, that should be fine. And uh, but uh, but of course I, I can always buy one cable. These uh, connect these these cables are not really uh, expensive. And the good thing about this cabinet is that uh, if you want to let us say lift the hard disk, I mean if you want to remove the hard disk, you can. And by the way, apart from this uh, main hard disk which is there uh, on top, uh, by the way, to remove this, I think you need to pull this and. Uh, then the hard disk will uh, slide down. So I, I'll probably you know show you. So if you pull this particular thing, uh, you can then slide the hard disk down, and that is it. So let me just show you from this angle. I hope you can see it. I'll try to make sure it is not too shiny. Okay. Now I am too dark. Anyways, so I guess uh, this is the part that you need to lift, and the hard disk will slide down. And you can then lift it. So very, very simple and uh, easy to do. And uh, you can definitely install. If you look at the, if you look at this particular part, you can definitely install one hard disk here, uh, a small one, or maybe, yeah, definitely a small one. I guess uh, the one that you use in the um, laptop. And also there is one more extra space here. So plenty of space to be honest, and to be honest, and, and in my opinion, I think uh, even if you don't have space, uh, so initially I was thinking of getting a thing center, center, or you know those tiny ones, uh, but uh, I was looking for a way to, uh, I, I was looking for PCI slot basically so that I can um, add a graphics card, which I can do in this particular cabinet because there is a way, and to add a PCI card here. Or any any graphics card, uh, what what you need to do, if you, uh, it, it is actually very very simple. All you need to do, remove this part, and uh, you can actually pull out this uh, uh, cover, this metallic cover. I remember these covers used to be attached to the cabinet, and you had, I, you know, you had to like uh, uh, literally break it, but not in this cabinet, which is uh, great. I'll probably uh, insert it back and uh, come on okay make sure it is uh, it is closed and that is it so 
to close this i'll show you how to close this, close the cabinet as well so let us try to push this back and what i'll do i'll try to um, make sure it is not really pressing any cable it is not but you know just double check that you are not really breaking anything there is nothing in the way and gently push it that is it and uh, let us uh, cover the cabinet so this is of course uh, so there is a trick uh, if, if you are if you're using the same cabinet don't try to slide it you have to basically make sure i'll try to show you properly so make sure uh, you line the uh, cover here okay and that is it when you line the cover here you have to basically then uh, push it and it will and, and you will hear a click not a click but a bang and and all done and uh, i'm actually very happy with the purchase because uh, uh, and by the way this particular machine uh, comes with uh, windows 10 which is not uh, I, i guess uh, licensed which i'll of course not be using i'll be using uh, linux or I, i'll do something i'm not really sure but uh, i'm hoping to use this so i'll probably once i get the once i get the uh, graphics card i'll probably try to play some games uh, but even in the current uh, configuration i think this machine is quite powerful um, because it has sixth generation i5 uh, quad core processor and uh, to be honest if, if you are uh, doing anything with linux uh, it will work even on older machines in fact uh, my uh, thinkpad which is uh, which is uh, <laughs> i guess uh, even older is uh, running uh, windows on one of the hard disk but uh, the, my, my main uh, thinkpad x20 is uh, running on arch linux and it it is amazing i mean i'm quite happy quite happy i think last year in november i switched to arch linux and uh, and that particular uh, operating system although i was new to it it was great um uh, experience so far but no it is even even now it is uh, it is working fine in fact it is working absolutely fine and i'm not really uh, into distro hopping but uh, now i have one more machine i'll and, and it has a lot, lot of uh, options to install multiple multiple hard disk i do have like couple of uh, laptop hard disks which i will probably you know of course install in this and uh, because i can uh, uh, because i can uh, uh, have multiple hard disk I'll try to of course uh, try a couple of uh, new Linux distributions which I never really tried before. Uh, although I can still do it uh, on a virtual machine but I'm not really a big fan of virtualization. I mean uh, for my for, for my personal needs I mean I prefer installing uh, the operating system on the computer uh, actual metal not really a virtual machine for even for uh, playing and trying. So that is it that is all I wanted to talk about in this video I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you are thinking of uh, maybe uh, buying uh, a desktop I think in my opinion buying a used one especially uh, the old corporate laptops or in fact uh, old corporate uh, desktops uh, are not bad I think you get really good value for I mean not really good value I think you get awesome value for your money because I paid only 70 pounds for uh, this uh, this particular uh, hp pro desk g2 600 desktop and uh, i hope i'll do wonderful things with it so bye bye